This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Well, ahoy there, cruisers, and welcome on our group cruise. We have brought nearly 130 people on a cruise with us, and we're going to spend the next four nights sailing with them here on Virgin Voyages. What can go wrong? <laughs> what can go wrong? It's going to be a bit of a tight squeeze in here, Ben, for 130 people. Oh, hello. Hello, David. Let me give you a little tour of our suite here on Virgin. Now, uh, we're in the Cheeky Corner Suite and it has the biggest balcony on any cruise ship in the world. That's probably not a real thing, but it's bloody huge, guys. So we actually stayed... In the world? I think that's not quite right, David. The one, we, the one we stayed on on the Norwegian dorm was definitely bigger. Oh, yeah, it was actually, yeah. But it's got a huge big ass balcony on it and the reason we picked this is because uh, we thought we'd have lots of things and stuff everywhere and we're going to give you a tour but excuse the mess guys it's a bloody mess in here it's like a bomb exploded should we give them a, a cheeky tour of our cheeky yeah. corner suite cabin 14011a and it's the cheeky corner suite with the biggest balcony on board and we paid for this so we didn't get this free no we paid we, for this ourselves and yeah so let's have a look around um, yeah we'll do a quick whirlwind tour because it might look familiar we've actually stayed in this exact cabin before so you might want to check out that video for an in depth tour but we'll show you what it's like to actually be living in a cabin because when we do these videos everything's always pristine but this is what it's like i mean so this is all our stuff for the group cruise you can see here this has looked this is the tidiest this has looked some cheeky hobnobs there as a gift oh we've got our see. goodie bags as well that we but gave then, out david these were a gift and you've already opened them oh thank you to rosanna and larry they gave us them and they have been delicious we needed them very early in the morning one day when we were tired so this is all our cruise stuff and then also we've got all our gift bags here. These are what we were giving out to people. Oh, so what was in the, what was in the goodie bag, David? So in the goodie bag was a pen. With our logo on it. Bracelet. Yep, to get into all of the venues. An extra bracelet if you meet a friend, if you know what I mean. Oh, treat yourself. And a little badge and a ticket to a free cruise. It's a magnet, David. A oh. magnet. See, that's what you could have got. So what you could have had now, it was cute. We'll give everyone a little bag and also a little itinerary as well. And then we have all the stuff for our trivia down there. And yeah, it's a blooming mess in here. So I apologize that. This is our bar area. You can see we literally raked all the booze and we're just left with these three. It's actually a really hefty bar. Our fridge was absolutely full of beer and wine and also loads of spirits. I had lots more spirits in here that we've like shared out with people. And um, I'm saving this for the end of the group cruise. I'm gonna smash this open and down this at the very end to say job well done. It's been fantastic. It really has it so has. far. But David, yes, you have a look around the rest. The bed doesn't separate or do anything. It's just this big king size bed. Yep, and, and you it do, is comfortable. It's very comfortable. This room is definitely designed for couples because you'll see the bathroom, the door is a glass door. So you do have to be pretty intimate with each other to uh, be staying in this room because although it is kind of reflected, you can still see into the shower, which is on this side. It's, and it's huge. wonderful. And I love the products that just had a shower. It smells delicious. Not as good as Disney, but very good. Nice big vanity and sink. And then the wee wee pot is down the side just there. So this is only a glass door, so you do need to be friendly with the person that you're in the cabin with. This is the little makeup area, and you've got nice, some nice lights here that you can change. And Very like, nice. Hey, I'm camera ready before we go out, group cruise ready. And then you've got a big wardrobe space, which to be honest, we didn't even bother unpacking. We literally, we haven't even, we didn't even have time to unpack. We hung like two shirts and the rest of it is actually thrown in the bottom of there. Only downside of this cabin, there's nowhere to store your suitcase. That's the only downside I have of this cabin, but we didn't even unpack this one. So we kind of just left it there. But this is actually a good indication of the space in here because we needed space and it is huge. And you can see even with all our rubbish everywhere, there's still plenty of space. One cool thing that we still love on Virgin is the tablet. They still have this, so that does the lights, the TV, the curtains, everything. But like I said, if you want a full in-depth review 
and walk around this cabin. Check out the video, we'll put it in the corner, because it was this exact same room, so you can have a proper look at it without all the mess in the way. Yeah, we're not gonna show the balcony, but that is a must see, so definitely click on that video to watch, guys. During our four day cruise, we did so many fun things, from group dinners to a pajama party and much more. We can't say enough about how amazing it was to meet and spend time with our amazing viewers. We truly are the two luckiest people on the planet to be surrounded with such incredible people. Morning guys, it's another day. We had such a fun night last night. We did the karaoke, so we hired out the whole of the karaoke place. My throat's a little bit sore today. So many amazing singers on our cruise. It was so much fun. We hanged out there until midnight. We also saw the dual reality show, which was just fabulous. But today we're going down for a live Q&A, so like our live show that we're gonna do as live on the ship. So let's head down to the manor, get set up, and go. Squarespace is your all-in-one solution for creating your online presence. Quickly and easily design a website that reflects your unique vision and captivates your audience on any device. You don't need any experience in design or coding. And that's the reason we chose to build our website using Squarespace. And with the brand new Squarespace Blueprint, a guided design system, you'll start building a completely personalized website. Choose from loads of professional layouts and templates and customize options to create a digital space that resonates with your audience and brand. Unlock the potential to be discovered quickly with integrated SEO tools and seamlessly optimize your website to be seen by more people and with the Squarespace app for iOS and Android you have the power to edit your website, track analytics and manage your website from anywhere. It's perfect for us because we're always traveling. Whether you're a blogger, artist, entrepreneur or anything in between, Squarespace has you covered. From personal portfolios to robust e-commerce solutions. Squarespace offers you all of the tools you need to shine. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch go to squarespace.com forward slash Ben and David to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So we are in the manor today. How exciting is this? A lovely entrance. Let's go do this. Well, hi there cruisers. Welcome to uh, Cruising Ben and David Live. On a cruise ship! On a group cruise! Yes, this is very strange indeed. Thanks for joining us. So we're recording this as live on board the... What, what ship are we on? Valiant Lady. Valiant Lady. Lady. Resilient Lady there, yeah. And we've got an audience, which is super weird, isn't it? Yeah, yes. so we're, we're actually cool. sat in front of a live audience who came to join us on a group cruise and it's been absolutely fantastic. Hi, everybody! Hi! Oh, do you feel like Kelly Clarkston? Do you feel like Kelly Clarkston? Are you going to sing us a song as well? Like oh, Kelly God, we, we did that in um, karaoke last night. And it was... Yes. I do apologise for a bit hoarse. Karaoke went on till midnight last night, so... We did, but it's fun. But yeah, we've been having a fantastic time on board. We're going to do some fun things. We're going to start by talking about how the channel all started. It's something that we get requested quite a lot, how we started out. So this is me just before I met David. So I think it was maybe 2008 in front of the Magic Kingdom. Look how happy you look. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> You're going to notice in a lot of the photos, guys, I never, ever smiled. I always had something which my friends and my family called the Ben face, which was kind of... So I had to learn how to smile, and that was so, honestly so difficult to do, but yeah. So this is some of my early things. So we've got the picture on the right, which is me and my sister graduating at university, which is awesome. We were the first in our family to ever go to university, so it was pretty cool. And what you did at uni? So I did television production, and I got a, I got a first class with honours bachelor's degree. So it was such a good experience. Thank you. That's, that's the group that I worked with, the left photo, uh, that was our group in university and we made two films. We made a documentary about fox hunting, so they were banning fox hunting in the UK and there was a lot of negative stuff about it, so we wanted to do something completely different and go speak to the fox hunters and see how it affected them. And it was amazing, it worked out, we had the most amazing team of like six or seven how rude. Crew gel purposes only, for crew gel purposes only. Panel <laughs> board, panel board, 
Oh dear guys, we've got a man overboard, it's all going on here. You're never free of drama on Virgin Voyages, there's always something to watch or do. And there's David, so he went to the University of... Um... <laughs> Oh, oh, pretty good, yeah. actually. <laughs> I'm impressed. I haven't seen that photo in a long time. I'm so glad I was the one who did this one. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, after this, um, my mum was, you know, really shocked when I came out. <laughs> you know, this is how I announced it to her. This is the exact moment. No. That's an embarrassing one. That was a Rocky Horror picture show party. You look good, That's before we met. That's my mum, yeah. My mum was amazing when she came out. She was always so loving and accepting, so, as you can see. So, like when we first met, we used to do all of these random photo shoots with our friends, didn't we? It was yeah. hilarious. And this is because Ben was into photography, and you've probably seen some of his photography, which is really good. So he always used to do random photo shoots and stupid, I don't even know what I'm wearing. <laughs> I think these jeans were spray painted silver. Yeah. But how weird is it to see David with hair? No wonder it fell out the amount of product and diamonds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, the, the amazing technical dream hair of David. Oh, oh, so oh my days. Okay, so yeah, so we were talking yesterday about being Catholic and growing up Catholic. That's the only picture. I couldn't find a, a, any of us have been um, altar boys, but there's me. The priest, and there's my me, my brother, and sister, um, and then there's me at school, looking like a total nerd. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, and I also went to the same university um, at this Ben at different times, but the same university. Yeah. And uh, that is how we met, which will obviously everybody knows. Um, and I did TV and radio production. Oh. So these what we promised to show you yesterday. So this is the night. Me and David met. Yeah. So as you can see, I'm dressed as Elphaba, so the Wicked Witch from Wicked. So my sister used to work in Subway. She was uh, she was David's manager whilst he was at university, and I went in that night, two a.m. Absolutely hammered. And can I just add to this? I did see him as Elphaba before. I'm going to marry that person. Yeah. It's not, that's not how it was. It was after I saw you. Oh, I went the green. Well, that would be weird. Yeah, deep green. And I didn't look green I didn't look good at that point. The green makeup was like sliding off my face because we've been dancing. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's the first time we actually met in person. That's how I met in person. I was doing the night shift, the 2 a.m. shift, serving the cookies and the sandwiches to all the drunk people coming in. Yeah, that's the first time we actually met. Yeah, and I remember the next day I went home and my sister was, Oh, David's gay, you should go out with him. She said the same thing to me, and our reply was exactly the same, wasn't it? Say, How rude. <laughs> Only because he's gay doesn't mean that we're going to go out with each other. That was so funny. But we did get together. So literally, a week later, we were, I went out with my sister's friends because they were going on a, on a big night out and I was invited. And that's when, like me and David, like properly spoke for the yeah, first time. Yeah, probably And uh, we uh, we were friends for a year from that point on. We were actually seeing other people at the time. Don't. It's not Jerry Springer show. Don't worry. We don't want to friends with somebody else. There's not. There's not. There's not an X in the wings or anything like that. Um, <laughs> and so we we made friends for a year, and I think that's what helps as well. Like, is to get know, to know each other like that. But I always knew. In my, like, like, I think you always knew we were going to be together, oh, so. I remember coming home to your house with all of the friends. We were sat on the kitchen floor, sat next to each other. And, like, we had chairs, but, you know, <laughs> we, we were very drunk. It was so. a student house, yeah. so. And I just rem I remember looking into his eyes and being like, this is different. Do you know what I mean? There was something there, which was, I've never felt before, which was so lovely. And, yeah. So the wedding, the big day. Yeah, so David proposed to me. I did. In front of the castle, Magic Kingdom, while the Wishes fireworks were going out. Uh, Guys, it was so funny. I genuinely, genuinely thought he was joking. 
Yeah. I had no idea. I thought you were joking. So about six months before that, Ben said, if you propose today, I'd say yes. That's a bomb that's just left there, isn't it? That's a... Well, why are you thinking about it? The ball is in your court officially at that point. So I thought... No pressure. So I thought, oh, maybe I'll do it in a year. I don't know. You know, you still... You, you don't know when to do it. And we planned a trip to Disney, and I knew Ben loved Disney. He used to go since he was a kid, so I thought, oh, that's the best time to do it. Just the two of us, trip to Disney. And then about five days before we left to go to Florida, he came in and said, um, oh, my sister's coming with us. <laughs> oh, great. And oh, yeah, she's sharing a room with us as well, because, you know, cost is expensive. She loves Disney, and we used to get the free flights with Virgin, so we just had to go on. So I thought, oh, God. So I had to let her in on it. And that actually helped, because she helped out. I'd hide, hide the rings and everything. But um, I wanted to do it for the fireworks. Um, I didn't want to do it in front of everybody. I didn't want to do a public thing. So I thought, I'll do it in a quiet moment. And I thought, right, that's the moment I'll do it. A couple of minutes in, the music's on, nice and quiet, but, you know, we won't have an audience. Great. First of all, Ben that night said he didn't want to go and see them. <laughs> he said, oh, I don't fancy them. To oh, I said, we have to. Oh, I'm too tired. I'm too tired. I said, no, please, come on, we have to go. We did go, and uh, watching, my moment was coming. Right, going to do it, going to do it. My moment came, my moment went. <laughs> Nothing came out of my mouth. Oh. I'll do it now. Oh, no, no. I'll do it now. Right, I'm going to do it now. Will you marry me? The music was silent at that point. <laughs> oh, my God, guys. Everybody turned around and was like screaming and whooping. And I was like, David. <laughs> yeah. I genuinely thought he was joking. He thought I was, he thought I'd just doing it on the spare of the moment thing. But it, honestly, I, I, I honestly didn't sleep for two nights. I was so excited. So excited. We were just, I mean, yeah. With a time difference, so we're like, woo, oh, let's yeah. go to bed. Honestly. <laughs> it, it was amazing, though. It was so cool. Yeah. It, was, it genuinely was magical. Was, but yeah, it was great. So we got, we got married. So David proposed about four years after we met. And we got married 10 years ago in August. So we'll be celebrating our 10th anniversary. Yeah, so related to the wedding, um, we obviously wanted to go on a honeymoon and we had a friend who was getting married on a Disney cruise. You can see her there on that picture, a few of them. No, there's, the, there's their wedding party, yeah. And they said, oh, you, you guys should come along. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a, it's a ferry, Titanic, you know. They said, no, it's fun, it's Disney, um, it's a two-week cruise. And so we said, cool, we'll do that as our honeymoon, sort of, you know. Two for one, go to the wedding and yeah. get your honeymoon out of it at the same time. I was cheap. I'm from Yorkshire. I like the bargain. And Disney, like we said, was cheap back then. But it was a fabulous cruise, guys. From the second we got on, we had all of those stereotypes that lots of people have about cruising. It was amazing and we loved it and that's what started it off. But we didn't film that cruise. And uh, we went on Disney again. Uh, we did, still yeah. hadn't sighted the channel at this point. We took Steve and Sophie at that time because we loved it so much. It was a mix of, we loved Disney and then we were in love with Cruise. And at the time there was tons of Disney content. There was loads of content about going on a Disney cruise. And you know, Disney was getting expensive, so we thought, let's look at other cruise lines. And at the time on YouTube, there really wasn't much. It was just uh, Tips for Travelers, Gary, Gary Benbridge, he was the OG. He was really the only one producing yeah. content. And, and we wanted to see what the ships were like on yeah. board. And you know, you had the wobbly phone cameras, the, the videos that people were taking on the phone. So there wasn't really anybody beyond Disney doing any content. content. Yeah. So we just basically filmed with our phone, did a ship tour of a few um, ships, and we set up a little studio in our kitchen. Which was ridiculous. Which was ridiculous, yeah. It used to take us like three hours to set up all the bloody lights and we made, I made uh, all OQ teleprompter so we didn't have to learn the script. But yeah, it was quite funny. So we spent making our first video. So I think we made our first video about five times before we yeah. ever put it on. So this was the first video that we ever made. And I actually don't really think it ever got released because no, I was rubbish. All guys. I was like this. Well, hello. <laughs> this this is princess cruises. Princess are for people who like to cruise with love. Yes. 
and I'm just, I was just a bumbling mess. I was like, Norwegian cruise line is the best cruise line to go on, and that's why you should go on it. We were so nervous. It did take so long to get into it, but we started off as honest cruising. Do you know if anybody remembers that studio? Yeah. But yeah, we change that studio every two minutes. It looks ridiculous, doesn't it? It's far too much, less is more. But yeah, we went through lots of different things. That's our first ever, ever video. We did the P&O Britannia ship tour. And yeah, it just kind of progressed from there. We went through lots of different studios. It was all in our spare bedroom. Yeah, or our kitchen. We started off in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. Then we went up into the spare bedroom office and, and we just we've we just had so many amazing experiences. We got to go on ships in the shipyard, so Virgin when it was just a, a metal box and we had so many amazing opportunities, didn't we? Yeah. And we can't believe that it literally just started as us drinking gin in our kitchen talking about cruises. That's how it really did sort of start. Um, and it was just a little bit of fun. Just a bit of fun for us. So lockdown, like we were saved by you guys. We would have died of boredom and with nothing to do in all of the world going crazy and everything so negative. So it was amazing to spend every Sunday night uh, with you guys sort of enjoying yeah. it with our live shows. And it continues now that we do our live uh, videos on YouTube or Patreon. You feel so much better after it. Yeah. You know, and it just, it is such a wonderful community we have. Everyone here, thank you so much for being so amazing. Thank you so much, yeah. guys. Yeah, so if anyone's got a question, Steve's got, um, Steve's got a little microphone so we'll record onto the video. Yeah, and uh, what a great cruise, thank you. We wait. Everybody in this room every Sunday to watch your video. Is there somebody, whether it be cruising or not cruising, that you follow, that you like so much? That's a really good question. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, we, we do. We watch quite a few YouTubers. So we loved, um, we love Ordinary Adventures. So we watch them and we got to meet them. Uh, we've met them like, we're like, we're like BFFs now. <laughs> no, they are, Kitra and Peter are so, so lovely. So. We got to meet them and we hung out a few times at Disney events. Uh, we love the winds as well. I'm not sure if anybody's watched them. So they have a, they own a catamaran that sails around the world, which is super cool. So you follow all of their progress. Uh, we like Endless Adventure as well. They're a cool channel as well. So they do like road trips and things. Um, quite a few really. We don't tend to watch cruise stuff just because we do it ourselves. It's like watching like, not like it's watching work, but we try and just kind of let everybody get on with that. We love all of the creators when we meet them, but we, we, we don't watch each other. Yeah, I, there's, there's people that I follow. I'm a bit of a geek, so I love like architecture videos, train videos. Ben likes his aeroplane videos and his tech videos. And it's, I guess it's, it's like everybody you have your comforts and you have your people that you follow. Um, there's a couple in Orlando, they're called the Bazzers. They're a really nice couple that have retired in Orlando. We love them and we've followed their journey for the past three years of them renovating their house. And we were in Orlando and we said, oh, should we drop them a message? So, oh, okay. So we sent them a message and they said, sure, we'd like to meet for a drink. We were so nervous, honestly. <laughs> we were like, hi. <laughs> but they ended up being really lovely. Um, so yeah, and we, we have our people, yeah. Uh, one of the questions I have is, at what point did you guys look at each other and say, wow, we've got something. This is successful. Because that, that has to be an awesome feeling when you realize that all this effort, all this work is now coming to fruition and people are watching you and you've got fans. Yeah, it's, it's so strange because it seemed to sort of happen overnight. So getting on YouTube in general, getting your first 1,000 subscribers is the hardest thing to do. It's a big milestone. It's, a, it's yeah. probably the biggest milestone, I think, it's where, because when we spoke to our YouTube man, it's where sort of like 99.9% .9 of people don't get to, is the 1,000 subscribers. So I think when we got that, we were like, whoa, this is, this is crazy. Like, this is something It was, we, like, we still look at each other now and it's like, this is like, that number, the, like, the number is like unfathomable, unfathomable, unfathomable. <laughs> Guys, honestly, I can't pronounce. Don't put it on. I can't pronounce. Unfathomable, fathomable, unbelievable, unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on, honestly, though, but it's um, it's so surreal that it's not even. It it doesn't. You, you kind of don't think about it. It's really strange. Yeah. But we. 
we don't we don't we much care more about the the quality of stuff we put out than the number of people who watch it because we're so lucky to have such an uh and like because we can see our view times so that's probably the most important metric is how long people watch our video for and we're so lucky to have such an amazing view time like our youtube manager couldn't understand it she was like what like 90 percent of your people watch on a tv but that's completely not heard of so when we had a youtube manager she had absolutely no idea to what to do with us because we just didn't do what was normal so we're just so lucky just to have such a like support of an engaged audience and i think this moment here actually seeing people in front of us because otherwise it's just Ben and I in a camera or, you know, you, we have been looking to meet a lot of people on cruises, but it's always one-to-one. -one. So to actually see a group of people in a room is it's pretty terrifying, I'm not going to lie. But you're a friendly bunch. <laughs> so yeah, so, um, yeah, I just I don't think about it. We just keep plodding along and doing what we do. And to hear that we bring so much happiness to people is, is really amazing. What are some of the craziest things you've seen or, you know, happened to you while filming? And would you ever consider creating a blooper slash crazy, um, you know, a video? So the blooper, I mean, we tend to leave the mistakes in. So we don't really have that many bloopers, really. We just leave them in, really, to be honest. So um, I can't think of the craziest thing we've seen. We were in Germany on the river cruise. And we were, had the camera set up just to film as we're sailing along, just to film the banks of the river. And we were, Ben and I sat down, we just sat down and the camera was set up, just watching it. And as we were watching, this stark naked couple just <laughs> glided into the camera. As the gentleman bent over and pulled them out of the picnic basket. I think they were having scotch eggs. And um, then they just, Slowly went off the camera, so we never used that footage. I mean, you know I like bowl-shaped food, but that was far too much. It was, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we've seen, we've seen some crazy things. We saw a clown get floored by somebody who was like in a drunken brawl on a cruise ship. The lady that flew uh, threw a flip-flop at our drone. Oh my gosh, yeah, guys. So when we were on Sea Dream, there was the points guy was on board as well. And he put out uh, like a quite uh, like clickbaity headline saying, they're not wearing masks on Sea Dream, and it kind of uh, caused our um, caused our cruise to be ended. And she was this lady from Wales, and she was angry, like she was screaming at the points guy. And then she got re she was really nice with us all week, and she got really really angry with us. We were flying our drone, getting shots of the ship, working with Sea Dream. She takes off a flip flop and just flings it right towards our camera. But she was removed from she was removed from the ship straight away because five minutes earlier she decked the points guy and she was um, she was taken off the ship and barred for life so that was quite funny. But yeah, I'll never forget one of the first ever cruises as well. What, it was Saint Martin. Open up our balcony car, a cab and I'm just sitting there in my little boxes. Walk out and I'm like, oh, this is lovely. And there's like 87 people like three feet away just watching me and I'm like back into the cabin so do always look out before because you can be parked very closely to another ship and it was like oh jesus <laughs> but yeah that's crazy but we've seen a lot of a lot of fights a lot of fights fights yeah. over laundry yes oh my god on the disney. laundry room oh my god disney you think disney people are going to be nice and friendly but oh no don't get in front of them in an iron because you'll be in <laughs> seriously we've seen full-on screaming matches in laundrettes and yeah, you see some crazy things. All right, so I have two questions. I'll, I'll start with the first one. Is sure. there still a bucket list destination that you both have cruise or not cruise that's like, oh yeah, we're definitely going to do that or, or something like that someday. So that's my first question. Uh, yes, so obviously like Australia, New Zealand, um, I really love to do the South Pacific and all the islands, things like that. I just want to go see the penguins in Antarctica. I think that would be awesome, but it's so expensive. It's crazy, and we'll, and we'll read about the Drake passage Drake as well, because that is yeah. rough. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, but I'd love to do that at some point, fingers crossed. And then the second question I have is a silly one. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Oh, yes. Yeah. Who's with me? Come on, guys. Oh, it's the best. Do you, do, you, do you like, you don't mind it, you don't like ham. I don't like ham, but I'll eat pineapple on the pizza. Oh, yeah. I love a Hawaiian pizza, it's the yeah. best.
best. It's always my go-to, so yeah. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> so, just a couple of points and a quick question. Sure. Uh, first off, thank you for being so lovely and down to earth, because I remember boarding the ship and thinking, man, I really hope they're not assholes. <laughs> you know? It's okay, like I said earlier, we worried about all the unions. Like, uh, yeah. So, the freedom was mutual. The, yeah. other, right, uh, the other point I wanted to make is you've reached a certain level of celebrity status in the cruise world. Uh, whether you realize it or not. Uh, so far on the cruise, we've sat next to two couples who both said, saw something we had, and they said, we're been dating on this cruise. Well, uh, yeah, and they explained to us what's going on. Last time you walked by Ben, and we were talking to a crewmate, and he made the comment. <clears throat> you said hello, and you walked off, and he spun that ground. He said, is that Ben? And I said, yeah. He said, Ben and David. And I said, yes. He said, they're the reason I'm on Virgin Cruises working. And so, uh, because of your reviews, I don't like that. My question is, with this celebrity, have you ever been on the ship filming and had somebody fangirl or fanboy out and stalk you the whole week? <laughs> so, before this cruise, no. <laughs> um, no, everyone's been nice, everyone's been super lovely and we've never had any issues like that or anything. No, no, but we, people find it's so weird to us though, guys, because yeah. we're not celebrities anyway. We, do, we literally just got a YouTube channel, but, it, but it's always so nice, and especially the crew as well, which is always such a lovely thing when they've looked at reviews to see what it's like on board so we can give them a bit of help. But there was that one night, it was a, I think it was a, a, a preview cruise on Norwegian where somebody was trying to get into our room Oh, it might have been Princess, actually, because it's the one where it has your name on the wall. And she was very, very drunk, banging on her door trying to get in. This has happened a few times. We've had this with another travel agent trying to get into our room, thinking that we were her we husbands. Were her husbands. She was very wrong, <laughs> unfortunately. She was on the wrong deck. But yeah, we had somebody screaming and shouting to get into our cabin once. I think it was on Princess, because it says your name. It says Benedict and David, and she was screaming again. I have no idea who she was. We called security, and she was uh, chucked, uh, chucked off the end of the ship. I don't know who she was. But, but no, everybody's so, so lovely. Really, really nice. And it's, it is a cruise thing, so we, it, like, we, don't, we don't really tend to get recognised anywhere else. We have in a few weird, random places, but... When we're on cruise ships, it's really lovely to, to speak to everybody and it's completely surreal. It's still so strange to us that people watch, isn't it? Yeah, and it's when you get recognised outside the cruise world, that's when it gets really surreal. That's, swear, that's weird, yeah. That's weird, when you're holding 48 toilet papers in your supermarket <laughs> and the gentleman next to you starts talking to you about cruises. Yeah. So, I'm sure you've been asked this before, but if you could only go on one cruise line for the rest of your life, what would it be? Excluding MSC, of course. I don't know. One cruise on the rest of your life. What, what, would, what would you want? What would you walk on? Disney. Disney. See, I love Disney, but the menu doesn't change. Exactly. That's the problem. Disney food's great, but it's still the same as it was 10 years ago. This is good, this is good for the food. This is great for the food. Virgin. Yeah, Virgin with, you, with all of us together, the rest of our yeah. life, yeah. Or like a private luxury yacht. Oh, we're always getting expensive now. No, I really like Virgin. Really like uh, Disney as well. Disney um, magic. But yeah, we might go crazy. That might be too much Disney, I don't know. Yeah, Disney magic, but with no kids. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. We love kids, though, just How do you keep it? fresh how do you keep from getting bored cruising because for all of us we, ch we choose to cruise it's a fun vacation for us so i'm assuming it's still for you but it also is a job for you so how do you uh, enjoy it because it always comes across that you're enthusiastic about cruising that uh, you know you tell us what you love and what you don't love but it's always so positive so how do you how do you keep it exciting uh, after all these years yeah, I mean, we definitely have our damn days where we've got to kind of give ourselves a quick slap and remind ourselves how lucky we are. Because it, can, it becomes complacent after you do it long enough. It was like when I used to fly, it was at first, it was like, oh, this is amazing. But we just genuinely always go into it feeling so lucky that we get to do this, that we, and 
we genuinely get excited, especially going on brand new ships, getting to try new things, the first people to get to do stuff, which is so cool. But we, like, we've worked in offices, we've worked in really boring jobs, and we are seriously the luckiest people. So we are genuinely like very excited to be on new to do to do new things and things we've done before again and uh, we get propped up by you guys when we're on cruise ships and we're having a bad day or a nasty comment we'll run into one of our subscribers who says the nicest thing ever and just totally makes it all worthwhile but we are so so lucky and it, like, it's like the old saying if you if you do something you love you don't work a day in your life and that's how i, I feel also going with other people so in, like our next one is my sister and her kids and yeah. when we were other people they do things that we would never do like maybe go we're not big casino people but on our cruise with Ben's family earlier this year they wanted to go to the casino and we had a fab time we would never have done that if it was just the two of us so that's why we do like to travel with like family because it you get to see it through their eyes especially if they've never cruised before i don't know if anybody else has done this and you take them on the cruise and you get to show them this thing that you love and that you love doing and then you get to experience it all again uh, through them. So that's, that's why we like to bring people on cruises with us. So we decided to bring everybody. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and on that note, like we like to hear from our subscribers about what they want to see as well. So we always do take into consideration when a lot of people ask us to do something, we'll do it because we know everybody will find it interesting and it's something new and exciting for us. But yeah, we like we want to do more, take ourselves outside of our comfort zone and do some really cool stuff. We just feel really, really lucky and I don't think we can express any more in words how lucky we feel for everybody supporting and coming out and join our group and if we don't see you again safe journey home and it's been an amazing group cruise thank you so so yeah. much thank, thank you, you so much guys yeah our group cruise is almost coming to an end we've just got one more dinner left we haven't filmed that much guys we're having the best time of our lives this group cruise has been incredible we've met the most incredible people the most friendly people we were so nervous beforehand but we had nothing to be nervous about at all because everybody has been so wonderful so lovely all getting to know each other as well all becoming friends we've seen lots of little friend groups form as well which we love to see everybody just has something in common so they're just all so lovely and it's been our complete and utter pleasure to host this group cruise it's been just wonderful but we've got to go get some drinks before dinner and then we've got our last dinner a little bit of entertainment and much more to come let's go okay so we came down to our meeting point before our group dinner we've done a group dinner every single night and we're going to have some drinks here in the loose cannon before we head down to razzle dazzle for dinner let's do it let's do it it's my local now ben we've been propping up this bar all week so every night on the four night cruise, we've been coming to Razzle Dazzle with our subscribers in smaller groups just so we can get to know them. And we've just done the final one, guys. I think I've tried every single thing on the menu. And I've got to say, it's quite nice. It's very good indeed. I've tried things that I normally wouldn't try. But honestly, the company that we've had at each of these meals has just been so wonderful. We've ended up in there like three hours three and a half hours i think we're annoying the tables next to us because we're having so much fun and chatting so much but it's been really really wonderful and oh we're going away feeling all warm inside and very happy and yeah we can't wait to do this again we just have to thank everybody so so much who came on the cruise and just a wonderful crew on board the ship as well and Lindsay, the group coordinator on board has just been amazing it's just fabulous Steve, try and hold the camera straight. We know you've had plenty of soju tonight. He's been to Gun Bay, guys. Anyway. It's not rocking. It's not the ship. It's, it's Steve. not. It's Steve. It's the camera rocking because he's had too much soju. First of all, we've got to say thank you to our brother Steve, who has really helped us on this cruise. He's been invaluable in supporting us and helping us set up everything, guys. Next, we have to thank the crew of Virgin, who've been wonderful. But most of all, we've got to thank our wonderful subscribers. You guys have been epic with a capital E a capital P, a capital I, and a capital C. Yeah, thank you so much to all our lovely subscribers. You have really made this cruise amazing. We were genuinely pretty petrified before we got on this ship, but as soon as we stepped on board and we met the first few people, we knew that we had a great bunch and it's been really touching and heartwarming and at the same time eye-opening to meet so many people that watch our videos. It really does make the channel worthwhile doing. Sometimes you can get a little bogged down with the day-to-day -day of it and 
you need to slap yourself sometimes and just realize how lucky you are and listening to everyone's stories about how our channel has brought them happiness really really i was gonna start crying in a minute that was it's, it was really we've loved it i'm sorry you go you have it no guys honestly it's been so heartwarming we're leaving this cruise different it's it's I can't even explain how amazing it's been spending time with everybody listening to the stories and it's crazy it's been absolutely fantastic and we just want to thank you all from the bottom of your hearts for spending your vacation with us and just making us so happy we're going away more happy than ever and we're the luckiest two people in the world that we get to do this as, as <laughs> It's been a long four days. It's been a long four. <laughs> Guys, I'm broken. I'm broke. You subscribe. <laughs> All of the people on our group cruise have broken me. I've got a sore throat. I can barely bloody talk. I can barely stand. My elbows are hurting me. My ankles are hurting me. It's been worth every bloody minute, guys. We've had a fan bloody tastic time, so we have to thank you so much. That's it for this video. Please do support us, guys. All you've got to do is hit that subscribe button and the like button. It helps us more than you'll ever know. And if you'd like a little bit more from us, not like that, cheeky. Da, 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 da. Oh, no. <laughs> if you want a little bit more from us, you can join us on Patreon, where we give you behind the scenes videos. We put all our videos up completely advert free, so no annoying adverts. And we put them up early. Oh, and we have a monthly video call chat as well with everybody in our Patreon group. Lovely. Come by, all. That's it till next time, guys. Happy, Happy cruising. cruising. Until next.